Hey guys, we've seen these lights on the back of F1 cars and we assume that they're there to increase visibility so the driver behind can see the car in front and not run into him, particularly in poor visibility conditions. Totally understandable, particularly at those speeds. But we're interested to see they're appearing on a lot of cars in Japan. So we're seeing them in showrooms and we're seeing them out on the street. I was sort of curious about them. Rarely do we see them turned on. They're usually there at the bottom of the chassis of the car, but rarely do we see them activated. So they're sort of there but not turned on, which is a bit of a mystery. We thought maybe that sometimes they'd be connected to the brake lights or something, but they're not. They just seem to be there. <laughs> is a decoration that's not turned on that seems to be the case and they seem to be on some cars like these they seem to be standard that's a Subaru oh you guys would know what it is you guys know more, more about cars than we do another Subaru so it's a bit of a mystery so those of you who are seriously into your cars you might want to comment on this we're a bit curious about this another Subaru and he's got that one, we've seen this before, it sort of makes a lot of sense to have a red light at that height, but there he is again with his red light down the bottom. And again, not connected to the stoplights, just just randomly there. We've watched out for these in poor weather too, haven't noticed any difference, don't seem to be used then either, so we're not quite sure when you're supposed to turn these on. But there sure are a lot of them. We're seeing them all over the place. Here's one that was on. And this was on constantly. Which is sort of interesting. Then it sort of looks odd. It looks like the car's braking all the time. Which is sort of interesting. So again, if you guys know more about this, we'd be interested. Here's one. Look, this one's got his turn on. Look at the car. It's a, it's a K car, which means that it's got about 650cc, so it's got a small motorbike engine in it. So it's a really small, slow car with the little red light flashing down the bottom. And on an F1, that makes sense. But when you drive around in a car, you usually wouldn't see that if you're close to it, would you? Which is a bit of a mystery. But anyway... What purpose does the F1 light serve on a streetcar? There's a question. Today's question. More videos? Coming soon.